Hey, what's up guys? This is Doug with MerchantMetrics.com back for another video. In this video, I want to go over another tool to find niches and keywords on Redbubble. Now, in my last video, I was showing you a tool that can show you how popular tags are, and that shows you what creators are creating for Redbubble, but it doesn't necessarily show you what buyers are looking for or what are, are popular pages within Redbubble. So today I'm going to show you a second tool. This one, I think, maybe even more useful than the first one. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can use this tool in order to uh, find trending things uh, or popular ideas for things you can create on Redbubble. So stick with me. I'm going to get into the computer right now and we'll go ahead and get started right away. All right. So this is Uber Suggest. It is at neilpatel.com slash Uber Suggest. You can find it a few different ways. The other way is if you just type in Uber Suggest, it's U-B-E-R-S-U-G-G-E-S-T dot com gst.com will take you to uber suggest as well so same thing it, it was a, a keyword tool called uber suggest that was then purchased by this man neil patel who's an internet marketer uh, he he made it free and available for everyone to use uh, in order to get started you just need to enter a domain or a keyword so if you're looking for say redbubble.com to see what are the top pages and top keywords on redbubble you will just type in redbubble.com don't put in just Redbubble or it will only search for the keyword Redbubble, which might not be what you're looking for. Um, from here, you're on the Traffic Analyzer tool on the left-hand side. The two tools that we want to use are the top pages and the keywords. Now, this tool is actually for doing keyword research for websites or for finding um, things that if you want to rank on Google, finding pages or keywords that are um, high or low competition or that uh, or you want to find a backlink profile now none of this really matters for Redbubble um, but but it is a tool that's made to to make estimates based on how many page visits that each page on a website gets and for people like us who are designing for Redbubble that's a pretty cool thing because the pages that are popular uh, are things that we can definitely design for. So I'm just going to go through, um, I'm going to show you two different ways that I can use this website to find keyword ideas or trending ideas for Redbubble designs. And I'll show you. Um, so I'm going to start with, with this one, which is the top pages on redbubble.com. Now, what this is, is going to be uh, pages ranked by estimated visits per month. And it's going to go top to bottom. You can filter this a little bit. Uh, most of this information is is good for us. A lot of it is a little bit irrelevant. Like we don't care necessarily how many Facebook shares, how many Pinterest shares, or how many backlinks a page on Redbubble has, uh, but we do care how many estimated visits. Um, so with this tool, we put in the URL of a site that we want to look at. Um, if you were, say, looking for niches on Zazzle or one of the other marketplaces, this tool would also work for that. So you can use this for, um, for any marketplace, really. Uh, it would be best if the marketplace is for print-on-demand products. So um, the one that is this really isn't that great for is Merch by Amazon because the Merch by Amazon products are, um, it's difficult to tell from this tool what is a Merch by Amazon product and what isn't. So you could look at a category page, say like uh, apparel, and that would be one way you could go about it for Amazon, but I would say there's better tools for Amazon. Go use Merch Informer. Um, use this tool if you're looking for other platforms. So as I put in the name of whatever website it is that I want to look for, what's trending, what's popular, I put in Redbubble so we can see the top pages sorted by how popular those pages are in estimated visits per month. Now, a little bit about keyword tools. Keyword tools do make estimates. They're not perfect. And by and large, in my experience, the numbers that they give you are the numbers they can verify or validate. They do a little bit of guessing, but for the most part, if you see a number on here, it's probably higher in real life outside of the tool. So this tool is estimating that Redbubble gets 9.2 million visits per month. I'm, I'm betting that it's higher than that, and each one of these pages actually gets more views than it looks like. So let's go through and see what's popular on Redbubble through this tool. Again, uh, I did want to say also, I have no affiliation, affiliation with um, Uber Suggest or Neil Patel. I'm not an affiliate. I do have a paid account that I paid for myself. And I'll show you a little bit later why I bought an account. But the tool is free to use. You do have to log in with your Google account. Um, 
which I've already done here, but the, the tool is free. You just get less results if you're not a paid um, if you're not a paid user. So as we scroll through, you can see um, what's trending, what gets the most visits. So I've already looked through these and I looked at this top, um, the top one here, which is the, um, I'm a single dad who's addicted to cool math games. I looked up cool math games because I wasn't sure what it was. Cool math games is a website where you can play cool math games with your kids. Um, so I think they sell their merch through Redbubble and that's why this is so popular is that they direct all the traffic on their site for people who are looking to purchase uh, their merch directly to Redbubble. Um, but as we log or scroll down the page, you can see that second, um, if we ignore redbubble.com, second most popular is stickers. So if you're not designing for stickers on Redbubble, you're making a big mistake. Stickers is the number one thing that people are looking for. Uh, number two is t-shirts, but it gets more interesting than that. Anytime you see one of these pages with the plus sign on it, that's a search term. That's something somebody was was specifically looking for. The office posters. Now, I don't know if the office is one of the brands that Redbubble allows you to design for. If not, you know, we got to kind of ignore that one. Uh, as we scroll down, you see phone cases, uh, cool t-shirts, hydro stickers. If you're not using hydro stickers in your sticker listings as a keyword, you probably should be because it's very close to the top. Uh, laptop stickers, very close to the top. Tapestries. I was surprised by that. I do put my products on tapestries, but I'm not uh, generally expecting to sell them. Uh, tapestries are very close to the top. Now, as we go down, you'll see the more generic terms are going to fall away and we're going to see more specific things. So I'm going to go to page two. This is where it kind of gets more interesting, right? We start with all of the top level categories and as we go down, we get more and more information. So car window stickers, artist t-shirts, anime phone cases. So anime, very popular. Here's anime again, anime again. So anime style design, anime style drawings, very popular on Redbubble. Definitely something to consider. Cute stickers, so cute design. Um, cheap posters, uh, we get to set the prices, so you could certainly use the keyword cheap posters and set your price low if you wanted to, to try and dr drum up some sales. We know that, that customers are um, searching for cheap posters. Um, blacked t-shirts, popsicle stickers, popsicle stickers, I don't know why, super popular right now. Um, as we go down, you can see some of these things are going to be trademarked, things that we can't necessarily use. Um, Beatles, Shrek. Uh, let's see, Hype House, Japanese style t-shirts. Uh, so da Japanese characters, uh, Japanese style art, definitely po uh, popular. As you scroll down, you can see there's just a lot, a lot, a lot. So as we, as we get further and further, this is the long tail of a long tail keyword, the things that are, that are getting, um, you know, a lot of searches, but not nearly as many searches as at the top. This is where you really want to focus. Now, if you have a paid account, you can go on and on and on down the line. Uh, and see basically all the pages. If you don't have a paid account, you're gonna run into a, uh, a limit of how many of these you can see. Now you can do some filtering to try, and, um, to try and reduce that a little bit. You could filter by just one marketplace if you uh, say are, are in one of those marketplaces and that's where you wanna actually design for. Let me show you the second way that you can use this tool which might you might find more useful. One thing before we move over to the other method, um, if you click these, you can actually go directly to the listing and see what it is that, um, that it's representing. So uh, as you can see here, there's some Michael Scott um, designs and some other, you know, other phone cases. All right, so let me show you the second way. The second way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna sort by keywords, not by pages. Now, it doesn't necessarily matter, it doesn't matter what page these end up on. If this is what people are searching for on Google that is leading them to Redbubble, okay? So if a customer is looking for posters from, from the office and there's 2.2 million searches for that per month, Redbubble ranks number 10 and they're getting 25,000 people visiting from Google or from search engines every month. You can see over here, this is the search engine difficulty. So this would be like a competitiveness term if you were gonna try and um, compete with Redbubble on Google, which is not what we wanna do. We want Google, we are, I'm sorry, we want Redbubble to get all of the traffic so that we can get these customers to our pages. But as you scroll down, you can see what the popular search terms are that are leading people to, to Redbubble. And you can see that the T-shirt, I don't know if you've seen these, it's like a tea bag uh, on a shirt. It's like a T-shirt or a cup of tea. Um, 
that's kind of funny, right? Uh, a lot of people are looking for them right now. Uh, the Uno reverse cards, lots of lots of people are looking for these Uno reverse cards. Um, I've seen magnets, I've seen stickers, so very popular. Definitely something you could do. Uh, as we go down again, we don't want to be at the top. This is where all the competition is too. Uh, we want to be down by the bottom in the long tail of the long tail keywords. So as I scroll down here, uh, Bad Bunny logos, um, and again, you have to check for trademarks and copyrights just like you would on any design. But you can see that this list just goes on forever, like forever. And as I got to the bottom, it just loaded more. Luftwaffle, <laughs> uh, dad shirts. I mean, this is just a never ending list of keywords that are actually being searched, that are actually resulting in a customer going to Redbubble and trying to find a product. So if you have um, not use this tool yet you should definitely check it out it's uh it's free to use you you get a limited number of results again if you have not paid for an account um let me just really quickly i'm just going to show you this um, plans and pricing at the top again i have no affiliation i'm just showing you because i want you to understand you know what this is and why i would even consider purchasing i hate I hate monthly fees. I don't want to. I don't want any more monthly fees. Like Adobe, you got me. But everyone else, I want to like eliminate as many monthly fees as possible. So the reason that I purchased this plan is because it's an individual lifetime subscription, and um, I've paid a lot of money for keyword tools, other keyword keyword tools for SEO for Google SEO not for Redbubble SEO, but for Google SEO, they typically are about $100 a month for their minimum plan. So $290 for a lifetime. It was, you know, it made sense for me. Again, there's a free plan. You can use it. You can, you get a limited number of results, but it's still useful. So definitely check this tool out if you're looking for another way to find things to create for Redbubble. All right, guys, this has been Doug with MerchMetrics.com. If you haven't already caught it, go ahead and check out this video here, which is my video on um, how to use the keyword tool that we used last week, which tells you like what people are creating. So using this tool with that tool, would allow you to find out what is getting searched and then see how much competition among designers there is for that category. And combine that with an actual search on Redbubble, you should have a really good idea what is low competition, what's high competition. All right, I will see you guys in the next video.